Hi, welcome back. We are on day 5 today of our weekly workout. Today we are going to focus on your arms and your upper body and we are going to give you a good upper body workout. We will also have a little bit of core workout just that you can strengthen a little bit more. Yeah? You are going to start standing on your mat, keeping your feet hip width apart. Ensure that your core abdominal muscles are tightened, your pelvic floor muscles are pulled up. You are going to slowly start inhaling, raising your hands up, stretch to the back and rotate. Just warming up those shoulders. Just keep breathing normally. Taking it to the back. And let's slowly reverse. And relax. Stretch your hands out in front of you, keeping your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Slowly take your fingers in and stretch it out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You'll feel this work on your biceps. Keep your arms tightened. Keep flowing with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more times. And relax. Stretch your hands out to the sides now. What we're going to do is, you're going to take your little finger in, then your ring finger, your middle finger, index finger, and your thumb, and we'll rotate and reverse. Then you open little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb. Stretch your fingers out. Again, close it all in, rotate and reverse. Open your fingers out once again and stretch. Close it in, rotate and reverse. Drop your hands down, raise your hands up, stretch. As high as you can go and once again, hug yourself like we did in the previous video. Just to stretch your arms out and swap hands, taking the other hand above, stretch once again, relax, shake your hands out, okay. once again working on toning your arms, stretch your arms out to the sides, imagine that you are bouncing a ball, keep bouncing, one, two, three, four, five, upwards, up, two, three, four, five, going forward, one, two, three, ensure that your elbows are straight, five, going back, keep your arms in line with your shoulders, four, five, drop your hands down, raise your hands up. Bending it at your elbows, stretch your hands to the back once again and relax. Open your legs out, stretch your hands behind you, interlocking your fingers, bend forward, raise your hands up, stretch and stay there and hold it. Slowly twist, taking your hands to your left. Come back to the center, twist again, taking your hands to the right. Come back to the center, slowly come back up and relax. We are going to do the bouncing action again to continue turning your arms, five, four, three, two, one, take it up, one, so you will feel this work at the back, close your scapula which is where you are connected to your shoulders, yeah, four, five, take it forward, one, two, three, four, five, take it back, one, two, three, almost there, four, five, and relax. Drop your hands down. Raising your hands up once again. 
grabbing hold of your elbows stretch to the back come back to the center now keeping your arms wrapped around like this slowly turn twisting looking behind you come back to the center and turn twist come back to the center slowly getting your hands down now you're going to stand with your feet parallel to each other hip width apart we're going to do the twisting a very simple spinal twisting exercise called konasan you're going to straighten your hands out in front of you so that your palms face each other inhale and as you exhale gently twist to the back so you're twisting towards your right side and then turn your head and look beyond your right shoulder while you're doing this ensure that your feet don't lift off and your feet remain planted firmly on the floor so you turn and twist you inhale and come back to the center and as you exhale you turn and twist again keeping your feet firmly planted on the floor inhale come to the center we do it one more time exhale slowly twisting to the back looking behind you inhale come to the center exhale twist inhale come center slowly get your hands down and relax once again stretching your hands up to the sides point your fingers upwards and then point it down keep going point up and down and up and down and up and down keep your fingers pointed up let's start making circles 1 2 3 4 5 reverse 1 2 3 4 5 reverse 1 2 3 4 5 5 reverse feel it working on your arms 3 4 5 5 and slowly get your hands down relax stretch your hands up interlocking your fingers tilt to the side just so that you get a good stretch slowly come down and relax okay now we're going to roll up your mat uh, we're going to use your mat as a prop so just roll it up tight if you don't have a mat with you you can use uh, probably a bottle of water a uh, 1 liter bottle of water if you have a mat with you great if your mat is uh, too bulky try and roll it up really tight okay so you're going to raise your hand up keeping your mat up on your hand keeping your arms straight you're going to slowly take your mat around taking it under your leg and up so it goes around raise your right leg up and take it up keep going we'll do this 10 times on one side and we'll repeat it on the other Five, six, seven. Ensure that your back remains straight when you're raising your leg up. Two more times. And relax. Now on the other side, reversing the rotation, raising your left leg up. Doing it ten times. Three. Exhale, take it down. Inhale up. Five, six. Feel it working on your arms. Seven, eight, nine. One last time. Okay. Stretch your feet slightly apart, keeping your hands up. Now, as you exhale, you're going to take your mat behind your head. and let your elbows point down inhale you'll raise your hands up exhale get your mat in front of you inhale up we'll keep going exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up down up down you feel it work on your biceps your triceps down also your shoulder blades exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale down, inhale up, down and up. Exhale, inhale forward and up. Three more times. Exhale down, inhale up, down, up two more, down, 
up forward one last time exhale down inhale up forward and up get your mat forward and let's twist looking to the back stretch come back to the center same thing like we did konasan twist keeping your feet firmly planted on the ground come back to the center place your mat down on the floor stretch your hands up lean to the back arch your spine slowly come back to the center relax raise your left hand up place your left hand behind your back now hold your left palm with your right hand and just stretch you feel the stretch on your triceps of your left hand switch hands taking your right hand back stretch so you're trying to interlock your fingers like this okay slowly get your hand down and put your mat back on the floor okay from here we're going to roll down and come into the downward dog pose slowly rolling down walk forward on your palms and stretch slowly push your body forward coming to the plank pose you're going to get your knees down on the floor raising your toes off ensure that your palms are under your shoulders we we'll work on our arm strength going into push ups as you exhale bend down inhale up exhale down inhale up ensure that your hips are not moving down and up and is only your elbows bending exhale down inhale up exhale inhale five more exhale inhale up exhale down inhale up three more to go two more and one last time exhale down inhale up curl your toes in lift back up into the inverted v pose slowly push down into plank continuing to work on your arm strength you're going to turn your body raise your right hand up stay there and hold it breathe slowly get your hand down we'll do it on the other side raise your left hand up stay and hold slowly get your hand down get your knees down on the floor come back okay you're going to sit on your mat now keep your fingers pointing in towards you and keep your knees bent you're going to lift your hips up stay here and hold it breathe slowly drop your head to the back and once again look straight Now as you exhale you're going to bend your elbows inhale you're going to come up exhale you're going to bend inhale come up keep going exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up feel it working on your triceps exhale down inhale up five more times inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale inhale keep going exhale don't stop inhale bend your elbows exhale inhale one last time exhale down inhale up slowly sit stretch your legs out shake your hands out relax your hands stretch your arms up once again lean to the back stretch and bend forward ensure that you get a stretch on your back this time so we're not working so much on the flexibility of your legs but we're working on stretching out your back and getting a good stretch in your arms as well slowly come back up okay we're going to do one more exercise now on your elbows it's called the dolphin it's very good to strengthen your core and very good for developing arm strength So you're going to place your elbows on the floor, interlocking your fingers. Keep your toes on the floor. Now, as you inhale, you're going to lift your hips up. Exhale, push down. 
When you come down, ensure your chin is above your fingers. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going. Inhale. Slowly get your knees on the floor and relax. Then slowly sit up and lie down on your mat. So you want to keep your knees bent, keep your feet on the floor, keep your abdominal muscles pulled in. The first thing that we are going to do is, you are going to keep your palms uh, on the floor facing up with your elbows in line with your shoulders. Now slowly you are going to join your elbows together, join your palms together and then open out. Yeah. So throughout your arms will be tensed. So as you exhale, slowly coming in, inhale, open out. Exhale coming in, inhale, open out. Exhale in. Inhale, open, exhale in, keep going, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Feel this really, really working on toning your arms and your biceps especially. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Two more times. And relax. Now you're going to raise your right hand up, place it on the floor and you're going to get your left hand down. What we're going to do is, you're going to take both your hands around and we'll raise them up. So you go down. Take them around and as you inhale, you get it up. So you exhale, take it down, around, inhale up. Keep going, down, around and up. Right hand goes back, left hand goes down. Try doing it in one flow, in one smooth movement and flow with your breath. So every time they go around, you're exhaling. Every time your hands meet, you're in inhaling. If you're not able to get this, then you just take one hand at a time or you can take both your hands around at the same time and then you could reverse it. Yeah, but right now we are trying to do right hand to the back, left hand down, around and up. Keep going. We'll do it one last time. And we'll switch. So now your left hand goes up, your right hand goes down. They both go around and you come up. Keep going. Keep flowing with your breath. Exhaling and taking them around. Inhale up. Exhaling, going around, inhale up. A few more times. We do it one last time. I hope you really felt that work on your arms. Now interlock your fingers, stretch up. Let your palms face each other. You're now going to imagine that you're climbing up. So feel like there's a rope hanging down and you have to stretch out and then you get your shoulder blade back down on the floor. Once again stretch out and get your shoulder blade down. So keep going, stretch and down and stretch. Every time you stretch up, you exhale and every time you come down, you inhale.
Now interlock your fingers, let your palms face upwards and raise both your shoulder blades up. and relax. Raise your shoulder blades up once again and come down. Few more times. Up and down. Coming up and down. Up and down. Now hug yourself walking your fingers close to the center towards your spine, just feeling the stretch on your arms. Switch hands, once again, stretch. And slowly turn to your right side and sit up. And we'll come into Vajrasan. Interlock your fingers behind you and raise your hands up. So you want to keep your head on the floor. This is like relaxing in the child's pose, but you're just getting a good stretch on your arms. You can slowly sit up as you inhale and just loosen your arms. What you can also do is just give your arms a good massage and just walk on them. So this was day 5 of our weekly workout. We just have one more workout coming up tomorrow. Um, this was mainly for your arms, your upper body and also a little bit of core strengthening. Tomorrow we are going to do a gentle asana practice to stretch, to strengthen and to just let you breathe. So I hope you are liking our daily workout series and I will see you tomorrow.